Okay, here's your starter for today, for those of you that are absent. Solve this problem. Uh, well, write them down, then pause the video, try to solve them, and then uh, unpause the video. Don't just copy. So you have a motor. We are studying electric motors now. We're going to be building some pretty soon. And a uh, motor puts out 20 watts uh, of power. How much time does it take to do 100 joules of work? So um, given power equals 20 watts, how much time, so we're trying to find the time, does it take to do 100 joules of work? So we know work equals 100 joules. And I know for some of you, this is getting to be old hat, but a lot of you still need practice in how to set up problems like this. And this will be really helpful to you in your future someday, I hope. Anyway, so you start off, we're trying to find time, but we need the relationship between t time, power, and work. So power is equal to work over time, right? The, Mr. Kinney just told a joke. Why is power really angry? Because he had to work over time. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Now, we're trying to find out how much time he had to work, wait, to do that work with that much power. So um, now, I could go through all the algebra steps. I guess I'll do that. Um, let's just say, so power equals work over time. So multiply both sides by time. That cancels it out on this side. So now we have work equals power times time. We'll actually use that every once in a while. But I want time all by itself, so I'll divide both sides by power. So you get time is equal to work divided by power. Right? Okay. And but there's a quicker way of doing it than all this algebra up here. Just switch these two. And so you get time is equal to work over power. If you just switch that one, those two. Did you know that? No. Now you know. All right. Now you know. All right. So the work is 100 joules. Power is 20 watts. So what is 100 divided by 20? In most countries, that's 5. And then you have a joule divided by a watt. OK, now let's take a look. Joules divided by, now what is a watt? A joule is, I mean a watt is a joule per second. So the joules will cancel. You'll have 1 over 1 over seconds, which is seconds. So the answer is 5 seconds. Put a box around your answer. Any questions? OK. Now, let's do this. Uh, if we break down, what is a volt? A volt, if you break it down one step, it's how much energy in joules you get in every coulomb of charge that flows through your wire or your resistor, whatever. It's how, it, you know, a, a, a volt is a joule per coulomb. How much energy is available in the electricity per quantity of charge? Now, an amp is a measure of how much charge is going by. So that's going to be in coulombs. And a coulomb is a quantity of charge, coulombs per second. So I expect you to know that on a multiple choice test. OK, and then one amp. So what happens if I multiply an amp times a volt? What do I get? Well, an amp is a coulomb per second, and a volt is a joule per coulomb. So what happens to the coulombs? They cancel out. So what are you left with? A joule per second. What is a joule per second? It's a watt. So if you have one amp flowing uh, and delivering one uh, volt, that will deliver one watt. Now, if you put a different number here, you just multiply the numbers together, you'll get a different answer. But that's what we're going to study today, is how power, it, power it, in an electrical circuit is equal to the amperage times the voltage. And you'll get the power.
Any questions? That is all.